Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR, and you're checking out a Serum Tip and Trick tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be looking at two of the coolest, most powerful features I think Serum has rolled out in an update. And this, these features didn't exist when the first version of Serum occurred, or even with the first couple updates. So if you don't have these features, definitely update your synth. But if you go to the menu tab, there are these render options as well as resample and we're going to talk about the render in this video and then in another video I'm going to be talking about the resampling. The render what it's going to do is it's going to take a snapshot of the warp modes on a oscillator and Serum's going to scan through the warp mode from start to finish and then it's going to map that to actual wavetable positions and the easiest way to show you this isn't with an already complex sound it's with a very basic sound and we'll be using the initialized preset in Serum which happens to be a saw waveform. Now, the reason I'm saying waveform instead of wavetable is because this is essentially just a continuous waveform. There's nothing to scan through. It's one frame or one cycle wavetable, which essentially equates to a waveform. If I play this, nothing happens. Well, you can use this render oscillator A or oscillator B warp, and depending on what oscillator you're working with, and you can actually use it to create really cool in-depth evolving wavetables without having to do the math, without having to do any resampling. So it's really cool. So we're going to look at that in this video. Now let's use on this waveform here, this one cycle wavetable, let's go to flip. And if we look at the actual waveform as we move through this flip warp mode here, it goes like that, right? So let's take this and we'll go to render oscillator A warp. Well now I can take the flip off. And now we can go back to our wavetables 3D view. And this is a full wavetable. There's 256 frames. And if we go back to the frame by frame view, the wavetable position now is acting just like the warp mode when we had it on flip on the, on the uh, initial waveform is working. But it made a wavetable of it instead of having a warp mode. Right now, if you're thinking, why don't you just leave it on why, if you'd want to do that, why don't you just leave it on the warp mode and flip? Well, here's the cool part. We can stack different warp modes to create really in-depth, unique wavetables. So let's do that. Let's actually go to Mirror now. And this is what Mirror does, right? It adds those mirrored versions on the left and right. So now what we're going to do, take note of how this looks real quick, this custom. We're going to go to Menu. We're going to do Render Oscillator A Warp. See how it changed. We'll turn this off. And now we have... Right, and we can turn up the detune here. So let's do it one more time. Let's do, uh, we'll do, let's do quantize. So let's look at what that does. Now that may not be very cool for this one. So let's look, the FM from B won't, won't work. If you try to do that, it'll say use resample. Be like, oh, this mode is set to FM type. You could use resample feature. So it won't let you do that. So some of these modes won't work. Well, let's go and we'll do, let's use a sync. We'll do half window. So then the sound could potentially turn into this. Okay. So we'll go menu. We'll go render oscillator A warp. Turn this off because we don't need it. Go back to our wavetable. And now we have a wild looking wavetable. So again, that started all off of just the stock standard waveform, which is a saw, well, one cycle saw waveform. So there you guys go. If you have any questions on this, let me know. I guess in practice, this is just a really cool way to create wavetables without having to do the math. If you're uncomfortable using the wavetable editor, you can do it this way. And before we actually go, I do want to talk about something. If I scan through these, you'll notice that the volume isn't equal on all these and you can actually smooth that out a little bit by going to process and you can go I like to do normalize each gain separately and then there'll be more of a consistent gain as you cycle through them and we can even go process and we'll do X fade edges 16 samples it makes it a little bit more seamless as it's moving through and if we apply an LFO to this and we'll just create a ramp change it to one bar <laughs> Right. If you guys liked this video, definitely check out the next video that I'm going to do, which is the resample to oscillator A or resample to oscillator B tutorial or tip and trick video. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.